Welcome to Paramotor TV. Today is day three on rebuilding the Paramotor. This is a Mulster 185 and we are going to try to replace and fix the throttle cable. I took this apart right here. This is the throttle and I took out the cable that was in here originally because what was written in here originally was not that good. It, it was all frayed and I tried to reconnect it back to the carburetor that we put in yesterday. So we got a new carburetor, but that will not work. So I went to Walmart and I got myself replacement cables, uh, 10 bucks for, I, I thought it was just one, but there's four different cables. And this one right here, this cable looks like it's long enough to be able to do such a thing. So what I'm doing now is I'm looking at this cable and I'm trying to figure out, do, do I want to just try to feed this cable back through this tube that's already in here from the, uh, from the other cable? Or take this apart, pull out the old cable housing, and put an entire new cable housing in. Uh, basically, do I clip one end and pull this out? then put this part back through here or do I take this apart and put the whole cable, the black thing and everything back in here. All right, so I'm trying to disconnect everything. Here's the end and it was uh, connected right here. Um, I'm trying to get this cable out, but it's been uh, shrink wrapped. So I'm using the scissors really carefully and I'm trying to see if I can unshrink wrap it. So I got all the shrink wrap out and now the cable, um, I'm gonna have to probably clip right here and uh, pull this thing out. So I'm gonna try to pull it out that way. So I need to disconnect it from here. However, this has been rigged to where I, I just can't open it up. So I'm gonna have to use some persuasion this entire throttle is very easy to understand. There's just a tube. This is zip tied. All the wires are going through the tube. Do, 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 do. Up into the motor right here. So all I'm gonna do is unzip tie this and pull that old one out. All right, after looking at this, I think I'm just gonna cut this whole entire tube and uh, replace the tube um, with with another one. Well, so I'm not replacing the tube because as I'm pulling this out, the uh, lines are getting tangled in here. So I think I'm just going to replace so it. So with the uh, scissors, I'm just splitting the tube. There, there's the entire tube. Here are the wires. Here's the old throttle cable right here. So we don't need that. No more. Now we have the new one. Like I said, we got this at Walmart. How nice is this? And uh, we're going to get a new tube, run everything through, and go brand, brand new with everything. This should actually fit in there, and it does. So that will work. And um, maybe I could just re refabricate a, a better trigger. Because, um, I don't know, I just, this one looks like it's been used and abused a couple of times. So, how about we make a new one? Alright guys, so what did we learn today? Um, throttle cables are cheap. I got four throttle, or th four cables for ten bucks. Only need one of them, so that's okay. Um, throttles are just, they're... Well, we're going to refabricate a new one. I mean, all we need is a kill switch and, uh, and a throttle. So we're going to fabricate that. Rerun all this through a similar tube like this to our length that we want anyway. Uh, run it to the right or left, whichever way we want to now that we're, you know, redoing it. So what I want. Do I want a left trigger or a right trigger? So really cool. So tomorrow I'm going to go get um, a tube. We're going to rewire this and uh, maybe fabricate 
a, a, a new trigger. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching Paramotor TV.